Welcome to Electron News Bytes, our show dedicated to updates from the world of electronics and semiconductors. I'm your host, Stuart Cording, the electronics reporter. In this month's show, I'll be sharing how to pack machine learning into microcontrollers, reviewing a rework machine, exploring a new Raspberry Pi case, and introducing a new 5G private network gateway. However, if you're in a hurry, use the description below this video or podcast to jump straight to the topics that interest you. Otherwise, let's get started. Machine learning at the edge, putting artificial intelligence into processors connected to sensors, is growing in importance. From medical and industrial to consumer, machine learning makes it easier to detect data patterns than is possible using procedural programming. To help embedded systems developers, Jan Marco Iodice has brought out a second edition of his tiny ML cookbook, published through PACT. The book covers everything from training to deployment using TensorFlow and Edge Impulse, and how to squeeze machine learning models into modern microcontrollers while still operating at low power. Practical activities use two popular boards, the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense and Raspberry Pi Pico. The book is available now through all bookstores, as well as directly from the PACT publishing website. Today's electronics are not only challenging to manufacture, they're challenging to rework too. But the problem grows as the boards get larger. Tackling this issue is the HR600XL from Kurtz Ersa, which is designed for boards of up to 65 by 125 centimeters. The rework system provides an infrared matrix heater system that can heat specific areas of the underside of the board more intensely than others. This is coupled with a heating head on the component side. Precise component alignment is supported using machine vision, while residual solder is removed by a contactless auto scavenger module. Rework of multiple boards of the same type has also been simplified. After the temperature has been set using traditional thermocouples, subsequent boards can be handled using non-contact optical sensors to precisely control the soldering process. We've all been there, struggling in a dark cabinet or corner of a poorly lit room, grabbed the torch and discovered that the batteries were empty. Fixing this is a new range of portable lamps from LED Lenser. The W series targets a range of use cases from electrical and plumbing installations to automotive mechatronics and paint workshops. With robust housings, the lamps include various attachment options from clips and hooks to stands and magnets. Most of the series include a rechargeable lithium ion battery and with a USB-C connector are easy to charge. The pocket sized W2R work pen is great as both a spotlight and for lighting large areas, while the W7R work offers adjustable color temperature and a UV light, useful for locating leaks or inspecting documents. The LED Lenser W series range is available now through Conrad. This episode is sponsored by Omnetics Connector Corporation, a leading global provider of precision and high reliability electronic connectors and interconnect systems. For more than 30 years, Omnetics has engineered an extensive portfolio of innovative products with a special focus on micro miniature and nano miniature interconnects. Their connectors are among the smallest on the market and deliver exceptional performance in challenging work environments. As interconnect technologies continue to evolve, they design next generation products that help bring transformative ideas to life. Visit www.omnetics.com for more information. Single cell lithium ion batteries are everywhere, from smartphones to toys, but care must be taken when recharging them due to the fire risk they present if mishandled. Supporting this is the new R5668Z series from Nishimbo Micro Devices, a one-cell lithium-ion and lithium polymer battery charging IC. The device features the standard battery protection features, including overcharge, over-discharge, overcurrent, and short-circuit protection. 
A force standby mode is also included, designed to prevent battery discharge during shipping and storage. Further protection can be achieved by integrating a thermistor for temperature monitoring. Latching and time delay of the protection features are then defined by the part order number. The battery charging IC is available in an 8-pin WLCSP measuring just 1.5 by 1 mm. While the clack of an electromechanical relay invokes a certain level of operational assurance, there are limits on how small they can be. Furthermore, current consumption can be seen as excessive in today's low-power applications. The new TLX9910 photocoupler from Toshiba, on the other hand, provides reliability and silent operation. It's intended for use in automotive solid-state relay applications where its lack of moving parts offers a long lifetime and maintenance-free operation. Housed in a 4-pin package, the switching side of the photocoupler is powered from the light of the input side LED photodiode array. With an open voltage of 13.5 volts, the photocoupler can be matched with a wide range of MOSFETs. This SO6 surface mount device measures just 3.7 by 7 mm, is 2.1 mm high and offers 3,750 volts RMS of input to output isolation. Segmented LCDs still play an important role in many applications thanks to their relatively low power consumption. And with plenty of suppliers around, customised displays are easily created. Helping developers to match display with microcontroller is Nuvaton with their new tool LCD View software. Building upon their range of microcontrollers supporting twisted pneumatic LCDs, LCD View helps configure the peripherals and pins. It also supports emulation of the display before your hardware is available. The display can be configured with the symbols and icons within the tool or, alternatively, user-created images can be uploaded. The tool can be used standalone as an IR plugin or within the Kyle IDE. LCD View can be downloaded from the website and supports devices with the new Micro 1T8051 core and Nuvaton's LCD-capable ARM Cortex-M23 microcontrollers. Single board computers like the Raspberry Pi are a fantastic platform for building projects. The only downside is the risk of a short circuit when in operation, as they have no case. The cases that are available are typically a snug fit, leaving little room for cables or other circuitry. The U-Maker from Weidmuller is different, designed to support creativity and accessibility as your projects evolve. Measuring 120mm on a side and 35mm high, it features sidewalls that can be removed to accommodate cables and connectors, and there's even room for a fan. They've also created some 3D model templates, enabling makers and engineers to design and 3D print their own accessories, such as stands and mounts for fans. And if you're looking to use your board for an industrial application, DIN rail mounts are also included for use in control cabinets. For consumers, 5G is all about more bandwidth for their smartphones, but this technology offers more than just blisteringly fast data. It also provides low latency needed for control applications and supports the massive connectivity demanded by the Internet of Things. And there's one more cool feature. Private 5G networks that can only be used by equipment assigned to that specific network. Supporting this is Moxa with their CCG 1500 series industrial 5G cellular gateway. Built around a Snapdragon X55 modem RF system, it allows industrial Ethernet and serial interface equipment to be attached to a 920 megabit per second backhaul. With its ultra-low latency and enhanced security, this cellular gateway ensures redundant and seamless operational technology to IT communication over 5G. To date, Moxa has deployed 20 private 5G projects in applications as diverse as manufacturing, warehousing and logistics. As applications grow more complex, so do their power supply requirements. 
In areas as diverse as medical and industrial, the desired power output is rising, while the demands on remote control and monitoring are growing. Tackling these challenges is XP Power with their new HPF 3K0 series 3 kW power supply. At its heart is a digital signal processor that executes a host of control and monitoring functions. The supported serial protocols include I2C, PMBUS, RS485 and CAN Open, while a bootloader is also available for firmware updates and user maintenance. Thanks to its low noise fan, it's also suited to noise sensitive medical environments and meets IEC 60601-1 with two MOP or means of patient protection. ITE approval in accordance with IEC 62368-1 is also available. Up to five devices can be operated in parallel for an output of up to 15 kilowatts and the available variants range in output voltage from 24 to 60 volts DC. So that wraps it up for this month's episode of News Bytes. If you'd like to learn more about the technologies highlighted, check out the accompanying description and links. Should you have a news update you'd like to share, please drop me a line to tell me more. You'll find my contact details on the Elector website, or if you prefer, connect with me, Stuart Cording, on LinkedIn, or follow me on Twitter. While you're here, please like, subscribe to Elector TV Industry on YouTube, or give us a rating on whatever podcast platform you are listening to us on. Thanks for joining and hopefully we'll see you for Electron News Bites next time.